What's up guys and welcome back to Dark Ryu Studios and today I have the Lunens model kit from Kotobukiya. It's a really cool kit. I think it's produced by the Kojima product productions. I think that's how it's pronounced. But um, it's a really cool kit. I really like Kotobukiya's um, way that they do their model kits. They're really good. Um, I still love my Bandai, don't get me wrong. Bandai is where it's at but um, I really like this kit. When I saw this kit, I just really wanted to pick it up. So, here's a 360 of the box. You see from this side, it shows the front of the kit, what it looks like. The suits, flags, action, and gimmick. So, I actually have that kit that these uh, rail guns come with. I might try that look, see what it looks like. Here's the side of the box. Other side of the box gives you some of the pictures of the face with the face mask. And I love Kotobukiya for doing the water slide decals. Bandai, why won't you do more water slide decals? Your kit should come with water slide decals. Anyway, water slide decals, just more information about it. The bottom, the back, and that's the box art pretty much. So. We're gonna break here and we're gonna open up the box so you guys can see what comes inside. All right, now, we're gonna open the box. Show you what you have inside. First up, you have the instruction manual. Really, really nice uh, material. You can tell this is uh, a nice paper. It feels, um, has kind of like a waxy finish to it really really good and as you guys can see I got my kit from Amiami really really good shipping here in the US even though they're from in Japan I think I ordered this uh, on a Thursday and it came by Monday it was here I was like wow so that's cool I, but I really do like the little pamphlets that they give you with the shipping that's just a nice touch all right so inside we have a runner with looks like your backpack parts. See some parts for the backpack, the armor, um, some of the frame parts. Looks really good. I think these are more for the uh, legs for the suit when it's not having the armor bits on. That's what I'm gonna call it, I guess. Uh, the space suit versus the skin suit, I guess. So this is more like the skin suit looking pieces and I see some joint pieces up there. Looks really good. Okay, now here's some of the armor pieces, the body torso pieces here. Um, ooh, we have the mask, the skull mask, those look cool. These are like some thrusters, I, I don't know why she would have thrusters, but that's what it looks like. Or maybe it's the top of the leg or something. Well, we will find out. All right, and then this is your C plate. And this is more body pieces, um, like the front abdomen piece, leg, arm pieces, more leg, arm pieces. And for the bodysuit, leg pieces look like, here's the feet for the bodysuit. Um, looks really good. What else do we have? We have the skin pieces. And of course, this is the leg, arm. That's what it looks like. And on this side, we have more of the arm pieces for the skin suit. Wow, it has a lot of arm pieces for the skin suit. Hmm. I should say body suit. Hmm. Okay. Next, we have, ooh, this is a nice gold. It's like, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's a, a metallic gold color. It looks really nice. Really good. That's one thing Kota Buki is really known for is their um, part separation and the, their colors are really nice and, and bright. Uh, they're having like another dark gray piece. I'm guessing this is for like the inside of the backpack maybe. And some option pieces there. Um, we got the hand pieces. I'm gonna bump the camera. We got the bodysuit hands and the armored hands. Uh, what I'm gonna call armored, and 
we got some more these are not metallic like the other ones were this is more like a tan for like the hoses at the bottom of the shoe and these are like a lighter gray I shouldn't say gray a lighter tan color not as light as this but it's still a lighter gray color so those are nice all right we got the flags we got a nice translucent one here and it has the logo on it already that's really cool have a black one this has on both sides that's cool and just like a black eyepiece i think this is for the for the mask when she has the mask on next we have this this is her flagpole slash staff slash weapon <laughs> accessory i guess you could say it's pretty cool. it's pretty nice it comes already pre-painted just nice uh, these are the water slide decals. It's gonna save these for last, but since I grabbed them, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put them, show you guys what they look like. Hopefully it's not reflecting too bad. And we got three of the, the Kojima, Kojima Productions. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, those look nice. Also, some more flesh parts for the neck. These, from what I've known from the different the Frame Arms girls and the Megami device line, usually they have different uh, pegs for the different heads for the different lines that you can swap out between the three different lines. So I think that's what these are for. So if you want to use a Megami device head on a Frame Arms girl or a Frame Arms girl head on a Megami device or any of the other, um, Model kit girls, I think that's what these are for. He, these look like to be the hair pieces. A nice color, cool. And these are some great parts for, I'm not really sure what these are for. Like some joint parts, so. And last but not least, we have the faces. So these are the different faces that it comes with. I probably should take these out of the bag so you guys can see them better. I'll do that next time. So we got like an angry, pouty face. This one is more of a happy, smiling face. And this one is just no mouth looking, just straight on face. So, pretty cool. Oh, wait, so I got something else. Oh, of course, forgot. Have the mohawk. I think this is the blade piece for the the flag. So cool, cool, cool. So that's what we got in the bag, in the, oh, in the box. Let's go to the box, and uh, I want to put this thing together and show you guys what it looked like. But uh, we'll save that for another video. So, all right. So I think that's everything. Thanks a lot for guys for watching the Lunas video. I appreciate it. And I check you guys on the next time. Remember, do it for the love, not for the likes.